Hello, everybody. It's test teacher, and we're on day two of our camp. And today, we're going to talk about science. So make sure you have your science workbook. Write your name, and let's get started. So we're going to talk about the planets in solar system today. Do you know any planets? So let's think first. We're going to talk about stars versus planets. Are they same or are they different? So in your book here, you can follow along on the first page. Right up here. So stars and planets, can they make light? So stars like the sun and planets, we're talking about like Earth and the moon. So stars can make light, they twinkle, but planets, no, they can't make light, but from the sky far away, they may look shiny. So we're gonna put O and X. And what about stars and planets? Can they move around? Let's see. The sun, which is a star, is not moving. And the earth is moving around the sun and the earth is a planet. So star, no, and planet, yes. And do they change? Do stars and planets change in color or size? Let's see. So stars get old like humans. So baby star is really, really light and then gets brighter and finally, smaller. So do they change? Yes, but planets do not. Okay, now we're going to go through the vocabulary. And once you see a word on the screen, you can check here that you heard it. So this, can you guess what this is? Space. It's space. And what are these? We got, we got our planets here, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn. It's the solar system. And what are these? Stars, that's right, stars. Oh, we just saw these. Do you remember what they're called? Planet, very good. These are called asteroids. They're very, very, very big rocks up in the sky. Oh, what do you think this is? Can you guess? Travel. And this is huge, very, very big bear. What are these things? Are they cold? They're very cold. No, 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 they are so hot. Heat. What is this? Light. What do you think about this? Special, it's very different from the others. Special. This, what do you think this could mean? Is it getting smaller or is it growing life? So what do you know about this? This is a top, right? And it's going around and around spinning. Okay, we're done with the vocabulary part now. So we can follow along on our book page like this. So this big thing here, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's the sun. So we are gonna go to space. So here we are at the sun. The sun is a star, we heard before. And is it big or is it small? It's very, very, very huge, very big. And the sun is the center of our solar system. It's in the middle of our solar system. Do you know how many planets there are? There are eight planets 
in our solar system and they go around the sun. Don't forget in your book to be writing in the blanks here as teacher goes over them. The earth and other planets too get something from the sun. They get heat and light from the sun. If there were no sun, it would be very cold on earth and there would be no light. So it would be very, very dark. Can you guess what's our next planet? Number one is Mercury. It's very close to the sun and is also the smallest planet with no moons. Can you guess number two? Venus. It's always cloudy on Venus and the clouds are very, very thick. It is the hottest and the most bright in the, uh, in the solar system. So here are the thick clouds and it's so hot and so bright. So our next planet, do you know? It's Earth. Earth is our planet where we live. Only on Earth, there can be life. And do you know how many moons the Earth has? It has one moon, right? We call it the moon. The moon goes around the Earth and then the Earth also goes around the sun. Our number four is Mars. And there are been humans that can go to this red planet and there are some mountains there and they even found some ice which means there are there is water on mars so have you seen the movie interstellar there is a movie about being on mars number five planet do you know oh first this is the asteroid belt so asteroids, like we said before, it's big, big rocks. So this is between Mars and Jupiter. So I guess I gave up the next planet is Jupiter. So Jupiter, how many moons do you think that Jupiter has? It has so many, we can't even count. So many moons. And there are stripes on Jupiter that are very, very pretty, but it's because it spins so fast. And this spot here is a huge storm, like a tornado. Our next planet is Saturn. So what are these on the edge here? Do you know what these are called? Very shiny rings. They are called rings. In each ring, there are rocks and ice. And it spins fast like Jupiter. So these are the, the rings when you see closely. It's all rocks and ice. The next planet, Uranus, also has rings. But it's very, very, very hard to see. And Uranus doesn't look like this. No, it's a little bit on its side. And we've got Neptune here. It's our last planet. It's the farthest from the sun. It's very, very far. So do you think it's hot or do you think it's cold? It's very cold. Neptune has lots of ice. So that's why it's blue. So it's so cold. So if you remember our planets in the asteroid belt here, make sure you remember the names for later. So let's review. Can you remember and write all the planets' names? We're on this page here. So the first, we have the sun, our star. Then first one, what do you think it is? Starts with the M. Mercury, that's right. Then second one is 
Venus. And where do we live? We live on Earth. Very good. And next one after that, Mars. And what's this huge, huge planet here? Jupiter. And then the next one is Saturn. And then with you, Uranus. And the last one is Neptune. So make sure that you filled in all your boxes. And then we will go to the next part on the bottom here. We are doing some matching. So the number one says it is the biggest planet in our solar system. It has a big red spot and it has a huge storm. So do you remember which one this is? Was it Venus, Mercury, Neptune, or Jupiter? The answer is here, right? It's Jupiter. And then the next one, number two, it is the hottest and brightest planet. There are thick clouds. Do you think that it's Neptune, Mercury, or Venus? It's Venus. Very good. And number three, it is the closest planet to the sun. It is also the smallest. Do you remember what that was? Closest and the smallest? It's Mercury. Mercury. And then our last one, it is the farthest planet from the sun. There is a lot of ice there. What do you think? This is Neptune. Very good. Okay, and on your last page of the back, there is a part to be creative. So if you've ever seen a shooting star before, you know it goes through the sky and we can make a wish of what we want. So maybe my wish is to have a puppy so I can draw on here, I can draw a puppy. I wish to have a puppy. And here's me with my puppy. So whatever you want, you can draw here for your wish. And for our last part, we're going to have a little bit of a quiz. So if you think it is the purple color, you can put your left hand up. And if you think it is the yellow color, you can put your right hand up. So there are lots of stars and planets in space or in snake. What do you think? Ready? Three, two, one. You can put your hand up. Space, right? Space. So next one, it is so dark here. We need some heat or light. Three, two, one. Yeah. Next one, a mouse is small. An elephant is huge or tiny. Ready, three, two, one. Huge. Don't kill the ants. They are life or wife too. Our aunt's life or wife. Ready? Three, two, one. Life. Very good. I trap to Jeju Island or I traveled to Jeju Island last winter vacation. Trap or travel. Ready? Three, two, one. Very good. Okay, everybody, we finished. Good job. Thank you for joining me. And we will see you for the next day, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.